Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, hey, we have an update. Microsoft has actually edited the blog post mentioning a release for Windows 11 24H2 that would have arrived uh, next week for those that go and check out the bug fixing updates and general um, availability or not really that's not really what it would be it would be like more like pushed to more people on october 8th well now they've removed those um information and some are saying that 24h2 is delayed and might be delayed for some reason that is not explained some people think that it might have to do with the new version of Copilot pushed with it that does not meet the security and privacy goals that people might expect. Um, some others speculate that maybe there's some bug or something in 24H2 that they've decided, no, 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 it's not time yet. But whatever happens is that now we seem to have a 24H2 coming possibly later than what was announced on uh, their blog post. So they really went to, you know, remove all of those details. So that would and could mean that something with 24H2 is making them think, nope, it's not the time yet for that to happen. So this is very interesting. We'll see what happens with that. And um, we've got a lot more questions that I've gotten from users on 24H2. Um, one that a lot of people have the impression that because they got a new PC that's just a couple of weeks old, that has 23H2 pre-installed, that they'll be the first to get 24H2. And that is rarely the case, especially with brand new PCs, because the hardware hasn't been fully tested yet and they often take more time to get the uh, new versions of Windows than others. So anyways, whatever happens, we'll try to follow the news on this, but uh, we might not be getting 24H2 yet, and possibly not on October 8th either. Uh, we'll see what happens. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.